Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, Miss Four Lizard. And today I'm going to be setting up my Big Happy Planners monthly calendar for the month of June. I'm using the pressed florals right now and I'm just loving the Big Happy Planner. Ugh, I'm just, I'm obsessed. I love it. I love it so much. It's so much space, so much freedom, so much liberty, so much independence. I am feeling the real estate. Ugh. So if you're interested in seeing how I set up my monthly, I'm going to decorate it. I'm going to just set it up for the month. And I already have like a couple of notes here as well, um, because not only do I have like my own plans and stuff, but I also like kind of making note of like historic events and, you know, fun like national holidays and like national day of days, cause there's tons of those out there. And yeah, and just decorating. So I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. And so if you're interested in seeing what I do with this monthly calendar um, for June 2022. Just keep on watching. So how I set up my monthly calendar, um, how I prep to set it up, um, usually I do have like a couple of stickers already down because sometimes as you know, when I'm in the previous month, um, I'll just, just pop down a sticker and make a note of things that are happening just, you know, I just go ahead and do that. Sometimes I'll just put sticky notes if, you know, for some reason I don't wanna like commit to putting a whole sticker down, but just sometimes I just, just bite the bullet and put the sticker down and worry about like coordinating with the spread later. So I already have some things going on there. And then I also will check my yearly calendar um, as things pop up in the, in the month, I'll go ahead and write down stuff that's happening um, and so I'll check this calendar before I really start setting up this calendar. And the last thing I do is I uh, just look online and I look to see like what important dates are happening in June, national holidays, as well as like unofficial, you know, national days of whatever. Um, there's tons of those and they're kind of fun to celebrate. So like June 3rd is National Donut Day, June 8th is National Ocean Day. So it's just kind of fun to, um, to set all that up into my planner. And so I have like a bunch of notes here. I have my yearly calendar here and, and then I'm good to go. And I am going to be using Summer Sticker Book and Marabou Designs um, mini sticker book. Um, I think it'd be fun to pull for these. These are like bright and summery. I'm going with like a summer theme. I'm in San Diego, so of course the summer is like such a fun time here because the weather's great, ocean's nearby, palm trees are swaying in the breeze. I have some Disney stickers because we do have a National Donald Duck Day. Um, when is that? June 9th, so I thought it would be fun to put that down. I have some bright stickers that I got from um, the Mexa Arte Museum in Austin, Texas in my trip, and I just really wanna use these. These are so cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and maybe use these guys and some washi tape. And of course I have my bag of paper crafting goodies that I can reach for. And of course I have my Soleil with me right now to stay hydrated. So I'm gonna lay down some washi here at the bottom because this washi is just one of my favorite washis I've ever purchased. I got it at a Japanese bookstore in LA and I'm actually gonna take these off the rings um, because I wanna like stretch it across the entire, uh, the entire like bottom of the pages and I wanna cover the holes even. So, um, I might need to take it off the rings there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. This washi tape is absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous. I love it so much. So, ah, I hate when I put down like stickers or washi before I'm ready. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just lay this down. I'm gonna just go over the the boundaries of the page just a little bit, um, just to make sure that I have everything. Ah, I hate when I get like those wrinkles in my washi. All right, so I'll do that. This is like a beautiful like 
beach scene here and it's kind of transparent which I'm I just adore I love like slightly transparent washi and it just looks so good I'm so excited so this washi tape I got from a little Japanese bookstore oh took out more pages than I meant to I got this little washi tape at a bookstore, Japanese bookstore, paper crafting store in Los Angeles in Little Tokyo. Um, so amazing. If you are in the area, I definitely recommend checking it out. There's tons of paper crafting stuff in there. The Japanese definitely love their stationery. So, uh, perfection. Love it, love it. And I'm not gonna like, plan the entire spread on camera because that would uh, that'd be that take that would take a while and I also cannot multitask I can't talk and plan at the same time it's just uh it's just difficult and I don't know if you want to hear me just like ramble nonsense nonsensically for like an hour so there we go and then I'm gonna go ahead and use my um, I'm just using this hole puncher here from Fiskars. I love this thing because it's not as expensive as those like crocodile punches that you can get, but it basically does the same thing. And it gives you a little heart, a little heart shape. Oop, that might have been a little bit, oops, I kind of, I kind of, there we go. I was kind of off and I just use my scissors to snip out that little piece like that. It's just like a hole punch and it punches out little heart shapes. And so that kind of like is good for like the little head of the punch. And then I just use my scissors to like snip out that little piece of washi. So maybe one day I'll get a crocodile punch, but I think they're kind of pricey. And this thing like works just as well. I mean, it's like a little, it's like an extra step to snip out the little piece of like washi or sticker or whatever, but I don't mind that at all. I'm always on a budget, so there we go. That's fine, and there we have the bottom of this spread. Gorgeous! It looks so pretty already. Ah, just like the beach there at the bottom. Ugh, I love this washi tape so much. I'm gonna be so sad when it finishes. I'm kind of like hoarding it, but I still want to use it um, quite a bit because it's just so gorgeous. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, I think, is I'm just gonna go ahead and set up like the rest of the month, set up like all my dates, and then I'm just gonna do that. I'll put some music, I'll fast forward it. I hope you have your planner out and are planning alongside with me right now. And then after everything is done, I'll just come back near the end and put the last finishing touches and kind of explain, you know, how I set everything up. And yeah, I, I hope, um, I hope you enjoy the, the fast forwarded version and I'll catch you at the end of the video.
<gasps> oh my god, I was out of frame. Hopefully I wasn't too out of frame, but I think I'm done here. I had a lot of fun putting it together and I, I love like filling it in just enough to excite me and um, like have fun setting up the spread, but I also like to leave a lot of room for me to fill in as the month progresses and as plans emerge and solidify. I like to leave myself some room to journal and such. And I also like to kind of journal like a sentence each day. And some of these I'm gonna, it's gonna be hard to do that, but I wanna leave, you know, some space open for days that I'm able to journal and like have a sentence per day. So, um, I had a lot of fun with this. I love how it turns out. It's so summery to me. I used so many stickers from the summer sticker book from the Happy Planner. That's one of their older ones. I popped down some nice full boxes, but let's just go like starting from, I guess, top corner and then moving our way through the spread so i just have this nice sun the sidebar it's always like you know i'm always trying to figure out what i want to do in the sidebar i went with just leaving myself some space to do like a reflection sometime in june i used this little washi tape to give me that sunset effect and um I managed to sneak in this chingona sticker that I got from the Mex Arte Museum. I wanted to also include this Conchas and Chill sticker because it's so glittery and like perfect, I think, for summer. But um, I don't have enough space, so I might save that one for next month. But I love this. It's so bright and colorful and just kind of fits the theme of like, you know, bright summer. Wednesday, June the 1st, National Running Day. June the 2nd, I have a bunch of um, pre-op appointments um, getting me ready for a surgery I'm having later in June. I'm actually getting my stapes removed because it's causing um, hearing loss, so I have to get that removed, but that's till later. And then Friday, National Donut Day. Um, let's see what's going on. Nash uh, June 8th, National Oceans Day. June 9th, National Donald Duck Day. Um, and then uh, June 10th, I'm actually um, participating in my Chicana Latina graduation ceremony at UC San Diego. So we have an all-campus ceremony that happens on Saturday, the 11th, but we also have like individual like cultural center graduations, like the Black Resource Center has one, the LGBTQ plus center has one, and I think I'm gonna go to my Chicana Latina graduation ceremony, as well as the all-campus graduation ceremony on Saturday. Really excited for that. Just some nice full box stickers. June 15th is when Cinderella released, like the Walt Disney Cinderella, you know, animated movie that I'm sure most people have seen. I thought that was fun, so I just popped here a sticker of Cinderella from the Disney Elegance line. And then, oh, also I'm watching um, Jurassic, the new Jurassic World movie that's coming out on the 9th. I put this little movie night sticker from Marabou Designs to remind me. I didn't have room because I put this huge sticker, so I just popped it underneath and I put an arrow. But but I am watching the Jurassic World movie that's coming out. Dentist appointment at 2. My surgery on Friday, June the 17th. Hopefully that goes well. Like I said, I have a genetic condition that has caused my one of the bones in my inner ear, my stapes, to start solidifying. It's causing hearing loss and it's gotten to the point that I do want to get that corrected. So thankfully there is a surgery there or, you know, available that, you know, a lot will allow me to hear better. They're going to take out my stapes and put in a prosthetic. That's going to be interesting. Then the day after, um, there's this huge dog and brewery festival happening in San Diego that I've been so excited to attend. Um, the act It was actually supposed to happen in May, but then they moved it um, because there was like way too many people who were buying tickets apparently, so they moved it a whole month in advance or further in the year. So that's happening the day after my surgery, so hopefully I'll feel okay to attend. And then it's also National Picnic Day and National Sushi Day, so I might get sushi after. 
June 19th. Of course, it's Juneteenth and Father's Day. And then summer begins on the 21st. I put this welcome summer sticker. Ugh, amazing. And then June 25th, the Playboy Jazz Festival at the Hollywood Bowl. Um, the last time I went to this was before COVID and I've been wanting to go back ever since. So I hopefully am going to be able to make it. And then, uh, let's see, the only other thing I have on here is uh, Stephen Hawking's time travel party happened on June 28th. I should write down the, the years that these things happen. There's a website that I like looking at, which is like important dates in history um, for like, you know, each month. And I just kind of like write down the ones that I think are really interesting. So that's where I got the Cinderella was released as well as National Donald Duck Day. And then just at the bottom here, I just put some nice deco from the summer uh, sticker book. And I think that's how I'm going to leave it. Um, I feel it's like half finished, but as I said, I like like filling in as the month progresses. And every, every day that I have like blank, I'll just write down like a sentence um, at the end of the day of like anything interesting that happened or I'll just put like more stickers, more decoration. So let's see um i'm gonna put this back into my planner here and let me show you what it actually looks like after the pen like one of these monthly spreads this is what it kind of looks like after the plan i like filling every single square inch in my planner so let me grab these pages and pop them back into the rings oh i forgot that i have to punch out this Okay, now I can put it into my planner. There we go. Grab the other page. Love it. Love it. So nice to be in a new month. All right, and I think that's it. Thank you so much for tuning in once again and sticking around with me to see me, you know, set up my monthly calendar view. Let me know if you have any plans for June or just any plans in general for the summer. I have so many plans for June, July, and August. Uh, summer is definitely my favorite season. I think it's because I'm an academic. I have been in school for the majority of my life and so the summer is definitely always like the off season like it's a time to catch your breath and to you know recuperate from the crazy semester and so um it's definitely like kind of in my heart and mind it's kind of like interlinked with like rest and rejuvenation and fun and good memories and i just have just awesome memories from all of my summers and yeah, I just really enjoy summer a lot. So yeah, let me know if you have any plans for June, for summer. It'd be, I'd love to know. Leave them in the comments down below. I always respond to my comments. I love reading your comments. I love answering them. I think it's so fun. So definitely drop me a line down below. And I think, um, I think we're done here. So I will see you in my next video. Take care, stay safe, stay creative, and happy planning. Bye.